Hello everybody. I recently had the task of calculating the CO2 consumption of business trips and found a free API from the University of Graz, the Carbon Tracer. In this video, I show you step by step how to call the Carbon Tracer API with SAP ABAP and calculate the CO2 emissions of your trip. On the website, we can test this API. For example, uh, a train trip from Graz to Munich. We see the emissions and the route. 9 kilograms CO2. And we can change this with car. And we start the computation again. And we see much more CO2 emissions and a new route from Graz to Munich. So, how does this work? We scroll down here a little bit. We see here the API request. We see here the endpoint and some parameters. Graz to Munich. And we see the API response. For example, some information about the start location or end location. We can get the different or the used waypoints in an array. But for us important today is the CO2 emissions. And we found this here in this attribute CO2 EQ. So uh, we have uh, API documentation. This documentation is available in English and German. So uh, we have some limitations uh, with this API. It, it, it's free, but uh, you can uh, uh, make a maximum of 40 requests per minute or 2000 requests, requests per day with your API key. And we see here the used endpoint. And to prevent an SSL handshake error with the SAP system, you have to export the certificate of this API endpoint from the University of Graz. And you have to import this certificate in your SAP system with the transaction as trust. I have already uh, made a video about that and I will link this here top right. So I have already registered so I can log into this website and here this is my account and this is my API key. So I click here on copy and then I go back to Eclipse and I have already created a report here. And now let's start with the programming. So first I declare a variable for the API key. And then we build the URL. So I declare a variable here. Then I need the API endpoint. So I go back to the website, to the API documentation. Here is my API endpoint. I copy this and paste it here to my lvurl variable. And for this example today, I will test the routing function. So here I pass the, my API key, and then we need some more parameters. And I add these parameters as a string. So I write here the URL and then I scroll down to a, to an example link, to an example routing request. We see this here. And here are some example links. And here is my routing example. We need an, an vehicle and two places. So my first example will be a trip with a car from Vienna to Paris. Okay, so that is my valid URL. And now let's create a client object. Type ref to if HTTP client. Then 
we write here CLHTTP client create by URL. Here we have some exporting and importing parameters. Exporting parameters URL is my URL. Then the client is my client object and some exceptions argument not found, plugin not active, internal error, and others. And after that, I check if the su super c is not zero. And if we have exception, we close the connection. So then here we check if the object is bound. Then we set the timeout. I pick here the default timeout. And then we write, write O client receive. Okay, so next I declare two variables one for the HTTP status and the second for the status text. So if the status is okay and valid, we get in 200 and the text is okay. And next we call the response right here, get status importing. And here we have the code and here I pass my variable LV HTTP status. And for the reason I pass my variable LV status text. And then I write this variables. So write HTTP status code. Here I type in my variable for my status code. And next the status text. And here I write my variable for the status text, LV status text. And after that, we check if the status, uh, not, not the status text, we check if the status is 200. Then we get the result with O client response get data. And then we write the response. So write response and then I write the variable with the response in it, LV result. Okay, then O oh, client close. Okay, pretty print and activate. Then we go back into SAP GUI, we call the program and we run the program. Okay, status code is, is 200, text is okay, but the response, this is not okay. So let's have a look. Okay, we need here get C data. Activate again. We go back and call the program again. And now we see the right response. It's in JSON. And we can deserialize this JSON in a structure or we do it for this example, the fast way, we know that we have an attribute here called um, CO2EQ. And after this attribute, we have the, the value of the CA2 amount. So we go back in our code and to get this CO2 amount, we can use um, two substring functions. So first I declare the variable for the CO2 amount or consumption. Then I write here substring after and the value is my result, the whole JSON response. And my substring is CO2 EQ. And I write this string here and I know I and I want to get the string after this attribute CO2EQ. And then I use a 
second substring function, substring before. Here I pass this value and my sub is my comma here because I want only the value to this comma or I want only the string before this comma. So my result should be the CO2 amount. Let's check this. I write here CO2 and I pass here my variable. So pretty print and activate. Let's check it. Okay, so we see here CO2 amount is 308. Okay, so now let's try an, a couple of other parameters. Not the car, so let's uh, try the train from Munich to Vienna. And we activate this and call the program again. And we see here train much less CO2 amount, 9.5 kilograms and next let's try a flight with economy class from Vienna to Los Angeles and here we can see we see we can type the Vienna the name of the city and the or the airport code so let's try it okay 404 why Oh, okay, I have forgot this, forgotten a slash before the flight economy string. So activate again and we call it. We run the program again. Okay, now we see the CO2 amount for our flight. It's 2021.7 kilograms of CO2. Yes, this was a very quick example of how you can use this API with SAP ABAP. The code can of course be improved. You can use more variables, for example, for the vehicle, car, train or plane. You can deserialize the JSON response in the structure and you can, ex you can extend the error handling. Uh, for example, you can check the success attribute if it's true. Yes, and we see you can use this API to check the address, the location. You can validate the location and the address. But I think the location validation is only uh, available for Europe and the address validation only for Austria. Yes, you can get the distance as well. And there is also an Excel API available, but I have not checked this Excel API. Yeah. Uh, yes, in the end, as always, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.